Hi, it's Lucy, and today I'm here to do a book haul. This is my last book haul of the year, and I'm actually refilming this intro because I originally filmed this video in like October, and then I never uploaded it, and then I got more books, so I just decided to like film separate clips of me getting more books and insert those at the end of like the original book haul. So I'll stay, say stuff that's kind of dated. I just wanted to give that warning and then like let's just get into the haul and then you'll see me at the end of the video hauling more books. In my last book haul I told you guys about my book buying budget thing. Here's the spread now. If you can tell it uh it's got a lot more books on it and most of them are not books that I've read. So I kind of broke my book buying budget. I'm supposed to wait to buy a book both physical and ebook until after I've read three of the books that I already own. I haven't done that. There's your update on that. I will be talking about ebooks in this. But yeah, let's just get into the book haul. You know how they work. The first category of books that I have are books that I bought for no reason. I wanted these books, so I bought them. First, we have Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. I've already read this. I talk about this in my August wrap up, I think, and my book Tubeathon vlog. So if you want my thoughts on the book, then they're there um, but as you can see i tapped it up so i really liked it i would recommend it and the second book in this category is useless magic by florence welch so if you don't know i do love florence and the machine i love florence welch i have been a big fan since 2009 i think maybe whenever i literally have a memory of when i first discovered them because it was when eat pray love came out and dog days are over was in the commercial and I looked up the song and I fell in love with the entire album and I've loved Florence and the Machine ever since. This is a poetry lyric collection kind of thing that Florence Welch did and it just has all the lyrics for all of their songs and it has like pictures and stuff. I haven't like flipped through it yet but I also saw the concert this past month. It was the concert of my life. I've been trying to see them for so long. There's a whole story about it but yeah I'm excited to read this i figured i'd have like a florence the machine florence welch hangover after going to the concert so i bought this preemptively i'm waiting for like a sad night when it's like it's probably gonna rain soon so this could be it where i just like listen to the music and i like go through this and i don't know it'll be amazing and magical the first ebook that i bought was truly devious by maureen johnson this is the first book in i think it'll be a trilogy a mystery trilogy and it's about a girl who gets invited to go to a special school where everyone who goes there has like a special talent and her talent is that she solves mysteries and the school was involved in a giant mystery a long time ago so she's trying to solve that mystery and that's all i know about it i've heard good things about it specifically i think emma from emma books like read it and did like a reading vlog of it and she really loved it so i was like might as well give it a try, it was $1.99. So the second category of books that I got physically is books that I won on the internet. So I was lucky enough to actually win a couple of giveaways on the wider internet. And the first book that I won was What Goes Up by Katie Kennedy. I've never heard of this author before, but I've seen her other book before. It's called Learning to Swear in America. You probably cannot see that little icon, but it's there. And I've seen that book around, but I wasn't too interested in it. But this one sounds pretty interesting, actually. Katie Kennedy was hosting a giveaway on Twitter, so I just retweeted and entered, and I won. And she also sent me this door hanger thing that, uh, to be honest, I probably won't use. Some bookmarks that I also probably won't use because I don't use bookmarks. And these bookmarks are for her other book that I just mentioned and some bookmarks for this book. This book is about two, I think they're teenagers or kids, pretty sure this is YA, who enter a contest for NASA's new interworld agency and they're both trying to get in for different reasons and then something happens where literally gravity flutters I think and everyone's like what the heck that's not supposed to happen and everyone like flips out and it sounds pretty interesting to me so i will be giving this a read and the second giveaway that i won was a giveaway that margo from margo because she's not from epic reads anymore was running on her new youtube channel it's not really new anymore she did a giveaway in one of her videos and she was just giving away 10 random books that you didn't you don't get to choose or anything and i won which is super cool and it's really funny because the book that i won was save the date by Morgan Matson, which 
if you have seen a couple of my other videos you might have seen that I did a vlog where I went to Morgan Matson signing for this book so I actually already own a hardcover signed copy I haven't read it yet but I figure since I already own it this is an arc and I have a signed copy I might as well pass this along so I'm going to be doing a giveaway hosted right here on this YouTube channel on this video I'm giving away this book and you just have to leave a comment down below saying you want to enter and I will add you to the drawing pile and then I will pick a winner randomly and I'll send you this book and if you want I'll also send you the bookmarks that I won from the other giveaway because I don't use bookmarks so you might have better use for them and also with the giveaway that Margot did she had recently gone to Comic-Con, I don't know which Comic-Con, I think it was San Diego Comic-Con, so she also included like something she got from there. So I got this a quick and easy guide to they slash them pronouns by Archie Bon Giovanni and Tristan Jimerson. And it seems like a cute little guide to they and them pronouns, what the title says. I haven't actually opened this even though it's like 20 pages long, but I will. American Street by Ibiza Boy because I wanted it. It was $1.99. I wanted to read it. I wanted to buy a hardcover copy, but I just got this because it was on sale. The next category of physical books that I got is books I was sent for review. So I have two of these as well. We have Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schult. I had never heard of this book. I got this book from Bookish First in exchange for an honest review, and it comes out in February of 2019. So that was very early for them to send this out, but whatever so I won't be reading it quite yet this is set in a fantasy world where pfft, this is covered in dust <laughs> this is set in a fantasy world where the kingdom is ruled by four queens who all rule over individual sections of the kingdom and they all have their own specialties and blah 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 and then somehow they all die at the same time and this follows two people who somehow are entangled in the conspiracy of how all the queens died and so they go on the run to try and figure out how who killed them and why well probably we know why because they're the queens but who killed them and it sounds very interesting i will be giving this a read probably closer to the release date the second book is a book that i'm currently reading hopefully by the time this video is up i'll be done and that book is the seven and a half deaths of evelyn hardcastle by stuart tartan i got this again from bookish first in exchange for an honest review it came out already i know i should have read it already but i didn't so here we are i'm not going to tell you a synopsis about it because the synopsis makes me really mad i feel like you should go into this book not knowing anything or else you're gonna end up like me really confused for the first like 100 pages so yeah i you shouldn't know anything about this going in it takes place in a mansion and it's kind of like one of those murder mysteries it's basically like a whodunit someone is going to die and you're trying to figure out who and the main character is trying to figure out who kills them and there's like a whole like mystery sci-fi thing going on it's very interesting and yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I don't actually know what this is about, but I've heard a lot of good things about it and people who like high fantasy really enjoy it. So I want to get more into high fantasy, like adult high fantasy. So I bought the ebook because it was on sale. Once again, every ebook I buy is on sale. The category is books that I got as gifts. So the one book that I got as a gift is What a Time to Be Alone. The Slum Flower's Guide to Why You Are Already Enough by Chidera Aguru. I don't know how to say her last name. I should have looked it up. My friend got me this because it was on my wish list. I saw it on Twitter. I feel like someone was promoting this book and it just seems like another good book to read, probably on a day that I'm sad. Just like have my woodwick candle burning so I hear the crackling fire and just like read this. It's designed very well at least. So. We got that, I just cracked the spine, and like, we got pictures like that, and it seems like a nice book. So, I'm glad to own it, and thank you very much to my friend who sent this to me. The last ebook that I have to talk to you guys about is Tell Me Again How a Crush Should Feel by Sarah Farazan. Sarah Farazan had a short story in Fresh Ink, which I read in August for the book Tubathon, and in those videos I mentioned how much I liked Sarah Farazan's short story, and so someone in the comments recommended that I read one of her other books, and this is not that book, 
that she recommended, but this one was on sale, so I bought it still. All I know about it is that I think it's about Iranian lesbians or it's at least an FF romance. Yeah, I don't really know too much else, but uh, that sold me, so I'm gonna read it. And the last section of physical books that I have in this book haul is books that I bought because I'm going through a quarter life crisis. Is it a quarter life crisis? I, mm, I'm not 25 yet, I'm 22, so we're not quite there yet. You know, just, just a life crisis, forget time. So I don't know, I'm in a new place, new job, never had either of these things before. So just, I've been reading a lot of self-help is the moral of that story. So I bought a bunch of self-help books. Here are the books that I bought. I'll probably buy more because I, everything is fine. So the first book that I have is The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck, How to Stop Spending Time You Don't Have with People You Don't Like Doing Things You Don't Want to Do by Sarah Knight. The titles for these books get very long. I already read this and I mentioned it in my September wrap up and hopefully I will already have done a full video review of this book and another book. And to go along with that, I have Get Your Shit Together, how to Stop Worrying About What You Should Do So You Can Finish What You Need To Do and Start Doing What You Want To Do by Sarah Knight. Sarah Knight has like a whole like series of books with foul language titles, I guess. I don't know. I haven't read this one yet. So hopefully this will help me get my shit together because I need help with that. The next two books are money related. So first we have The Financial Diet, A Total Beginner's Guide to Getting Good with Money, written by Chelsea Fagan and designed by Lauren Verhage. This is based on their YouTube channel. They run a YouTube channel and a blog website, whatever, about this kind of stuff. So I decided to read their book and it was interesting. This is not a wrap up, so I won't talk about it, but it's pretty. And last but not least, we have Refinery29 Money Diaries. Everything you've ever wanted to know about your finances and everyone else's by Lindsay Stanberry. Refinery29 is an online website. That's where websites usually reside online, but it's a website, like a woman's lifestyle website. They also have a YouTube channel. And yeah, on the website, they have a series called Money Diaries where people write in basically diaries of how they spend their money and you know, a week in their lives. And I really love those. I read those every week because this is what adulting is really now. And I wanted to check out their book. It just came out in September, so I had to buy it. And I've also already read this and enjoyed it. I will be talking about this in my October wrap up or I talked about it in my October wrap up, depending on when you're watching this. Hi, it's uh, Lucy from the future. Here to show you guys some more books that I got. So immediately after filming that book haul, I got my Owl Crate box and I unboxed it and there were two books in there. So I just wanted to throw those in here quickly. So yeah, and if you're more interested in these books, I talk about them in the Owl Crate unboxing. So yeah, but the two books are The Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa and I know that this is Japanese inspired. It's about uh, Kitsune, which the only reason I know about Kitsune is from Teen Wolf. So uh, yeah, but yeah, which is like a fox shape shifter. I don't know a lot about this, but it sounds really interesting. Pride by Ibi Zaboy, a Pride and Prejudice remix. This is one of my most anticipated books of the year. And I'm super, super duper excited to read this. And hopefully by the time you're watching this, I've already read it. Hello, I'm back in another different outfit. So this haul is getting even bigger than I thought it would because, well, first I thought I would have this video up before this, but since I don't, I just figured I'd just keep adding books onto it until I do edit and get it up. So today we have the books that I got when I was on vacation. If you don't know, I went to Europe in November. I went to Prague in the Czech Republic and Norwich and London in England. So I got some books from that. So just haul them in here. My vlogs for them should already be up. My one for Prague at least is already up. So if you wanna watch that, it's down below. And if the England one is up, then that will also be down below. Or when it is up, I'll put it down below. Since we're here, I'm gonna just talk about the eBooks that I got since filming the first part of this video. I'll probably film a new intro or something. Definitely a new outro anyway. So the eBooks I got, I just wanna briefly mention them. The Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. I don't remember what this is about, but it was on sale for $1.99 and I have no self-control. I got two other books. The Invisible Library by Genevieve Cogman, which I also don't remember what it was about, but I think it's about a library 
That's invisible, you know? The Little Book of Hig by Make Wying. I do not know how to read Danish. This is about like a specific way, Danish way of being happy or something. What do people speak in Denmark? Is it Danish? Is it Dutch? Uh, clearly, I am very knowledgeable. But yeah, those are the three ebooks I got since the last part of this video. Now onto the physical books. First, let's talk about the books that I didn't get on vacation. I really didn't think this through. Tales from My So-Called Adult Life by Beth Evans. This is like a memoir-ish type book. I'm just really interested in reading books about other people trying to be adults because I'm currently trying to be an adult. I saw this at an Amazon Books and my friend was really interested in reading it and she is not a reader, but she bought it. And then I was like, I'm just gonna buy it because she, this is a book she read and she doesn't read anything. So, and the other book that I didn't get on vacation would have gone in a different part of this video if I had gotten it before this, but that is Just For Clicks by Kara McDowell. I won this on a giveaway on twitter.com. Oh, they're so cute. She gave me a little like note. I didn't even realize. It says, Lucy, thanks for entering my giveaway. I hope you enjoy the book. Kara McDowell. I didn't even see this. I don't think I opened it. But anyway, this is an arc. I entered a giveaway on Twitter. I won and she sent me this uncorrected proof. And this is, there's no like summary on it. This is about a pair of twins whose mom like goes viral online through her blog, I think. And so they grew up kind of being in like the social media eye and one of the girls really likes it and the other girl doesn't like it so much. And I guess it's about them like navigating that. And also they find their mom's like journal. The things she writes in the journal are different from the things she writes in the blog. So they're navigating that as well. This comes out on January 29, 2019. So if that sounded interesting, my terrible synopsis, definitely go pick it up when it comes out. And I'll be reading this hopefully before that date. So now we're on to the books that I got on vacation. So like I said, I went to Prague. So I didn't get any books while I was in Prague. I did go to, I went to three bookstores. There's only two in the vlog because I didn't get a chance to film the third one. I didn't buy any books there because I didn't want to really buy a book in Czech because I can't read it and I never will be able to read it. I don't really have any plans to learn Czech. So yeah, and also the books there were kind of expensive some of them cost more than they would have cost in america so i didn't i don't know i didn't really want to buy any so instead i got a notebook from when i went to prague castle there was a gift store obviously and yeah i just got this little cute notebook looks like that the plastic's still on it, it looks like that it was 220 check uh, so it was about 11 dollars, i think because 200 is about five. Money doesn't exist when you're on vacation. That's what I told myself. And then I went to England and in London, I went to three bookstores because I have a problem. So I got four books from the three bookstores and the first bookstore was The Waterstones in Piccadilly Circus because I read online that it was a cool bookstore to go to and I was and the internet never lies to me it was a cool bookstore to go to if you saw my vlog you'll have seen a little bit of it the two books that I got there were Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by JK Rowling obviously I figured it was like a nice idea to get like Harry Potter while I was in England and I don't have the Philosopher's Stone so this is a special edition I don't know what edition this is called it looks like that it's the Ravenclaw edition those are the pages and it has like cool stuff about Ravenclaw in the front part, in the front and in the back, like stuff about the Ravenclaw house. And then there's like famous Ravenclaw students in the back and stuff. And there's house illustrations. I don't know what that means. And then the other book I got at the Waterstones was If Cats Disappeared from the World by Genki Karo Kawamura. <laughs> Oh, yikes. Um, that's a Japanese name. That's why I couldn't say it. Yeah, this had nothing to do with England or anything. I just saw it like in the bookstore and like, I don't know, I wanted it. And it has a cute little cat and I love cats. And then when I left Waterstones, me and my friend were like rushing somewhere. But then we saw this other bookstore that I'd never heard of. So I had to go in. It looks so cool. It had a bunch of like antique books and stuff or like just older books. I even kept the bag because it looked really cool. And this is the bag. It's called Hatchards. I had never heard of this. I forgot to look it up when I got home, 
but yeah this is the bag it has like by appointment to her majesty the queen booksellers and like stuff like that on it i don't know i just thought it was a cool bag and i think it is a chain because there's two locations on it one was in piccadilly and the other one is saint pancras pancras can't read saint pancras international but it's only in london so yeah and the book that i got there is not a book you would expect me to get i feel like is this it is Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine by Gail Honeyman and this is like a pretty popular book in the wider booktube like atmosphere I guess but I'd never seen this edition and it's so pretty and it's signed so I just I had to get it especially because the bookstore was like felt like a sign from something and then there's a signed copy and I don't know this book is so pretty it's like a it's a it ha it's not a dust jacket it's like printed on the cover I don't know I just thought it looks so nice okay and then the last book that I got was from foils where was the foils I don't remember where the foils was it was from foils though and I got the diary of a bookseller by Sean Bythel. this is just his like diary I guess from like being a bookseller and like the funny stuff he came across and like the people who came to the, the bookstore he worked at and I thought it seemed fun to get a book about bookstores from a new bookstore so yeah so those are all the books that I got from my vacation and those are the other books that I needed to haul and so hopefully this is the end of the video I don't believe I will be accumulating any more books <laughs> <laughs> so I have three more books to talk about. I swear these are the last books. There will be no more clips after this, I promise. So the first book I have is a spoiler for the December Owl Crate. So if you are waiting for a December Owl Crate or you haven't seen it yet and you want to check out my unboxing for whatever reason, you should check that out if you don't want to be spoiled for the book. I'm, but I'm going to talk about it. So the first book is Amber and Dusk by Lyra Celine. So I got this from the December Owl Crate. So it is an Owl Crate exclusive. It is signed. If I can find the signature, where is it? That's the signature. So this book follows Sylvie. It's set in a fantasy world and Sylvie has the power of illusions and apparently having magic or power entitles her to a place at court, or at least that's what Sylvie seems to think. So she ends up going to court to try and like take her rightful place and she enters into a world of like court politics and all this stuff that she wasn't prepared for. That's like the super basic summary that I gathered from this. I probably wouldn't have picked this up on my own without Owl Crate, so that's interesting. The next book I have to talk about was a gift from Whitney from Whitney Novels, and the book was Children of Blood and Bone by Tommy Adiemi. I forgot the author for a second, but yeah, I just wanna say thank you again, Whitney. I already told her like privately, but yeah, so Whitney sent me this book and that was kind of her. It is the Barnes & Noble edition, which means that there is a poster in the back that I have not taken out yet because I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. But yeah, there's a poster that you can't really see. And there's a, an extra chapter with Tomi Adeyemi's annotations on it. So that kind of looks like that. And it gets this fun sticker that I haven't taken off yet. And the last, last book, this is the last book, I swear, is The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chakchi. This, was in another unboxing as well and I was sent this book for free in exchange for doing that unboxing. There's nothing on the book that says the synopsis so I know it's like an opulent thing where we're in like 1880s Paris and it's like set in a fantasy world and I think it's gonna be basically like a heist. So I'm thinking like Six of Crows but in Paris it seems like that kind of book so I'm excited to read this and yeah so those are all the books that I'm going to talk about in this video. Thank you for sticking through me through many scene changes, many outfit changes. If you have any opinions about any of the books I talked about in this video, please be sure to leave a comment down below. If you've read any of them, if you're interested in any of them, let me know, I wanna hear it all. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and be sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time that I post. And what else is it? Follow me on social media. I have a Twitter and Goodreads. I use both those platforms pretty often. I use Twitter more, but like if you want to see what I'm reading in real time, Goodreads is where it's at. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.